477 meters length, 124 meters width, 1 million tons maximum displacement. This is Pioneering Spirit, the largest construction ship ever built on the planet. In June 2017, near the coast of Anapa, it embarked on a unique mission, the creation of deep water gas pipeline Turkstream. From the bridge, Russian President Vladimir Putin commissioned the start of the work. For the first time ever, the Pioneering Spirit team will lay two large diameter pipelines at a depth of over two kilometers. The first stage, the transition from the continental shelf to deep water, is one of the most difficult. In May of 2017, another pipe laying ship, All Seas Audacia, laid the first 31 kilometers of the pipeline from the coast of Anapa to the edge of the Russian continental shelf. The bottom profile of the Black Sea in this area resembles a gently sloping plateau, and at the top edge of the continental shelf, it begins a sharp descent to the abyssinal plain. With a specially designed pipe recovery winch, Pioneering Spirit captures the end of the pipeline left behind by Audacia at the end of the shallow water pipe lay campaign and lifts it on to the Pioneering Spirit's pipe welding plant. Here, in the main firing line, the crew begins to weld on additional pipe segments. Generally, the shape of the suspended pipeline between the pipe lay vessel and the seabed resembles the English letter S. The steel frame, called stinger, carrying the rollers for pipe support, helps to form the S shape of the hanging pipeline. 24 meter long steel pipes are welded, tested, and coated on the vessel, and are then guided into the water over the 170 meter stinger, which is mounted between the split bows of the pioneering spirit. This engineering solution ensures efficient and fast pipe installation and high speed of the pipe lay operation. A full-scale welding plant is hiding under the Pioneering Spirit's deck. The pipe material is delivered to the Pioneering Spirit by a number of auxiliary supply ships from the shore storage yards. First, 12-meter pipes weighing 9 tons each are welded together. Electrodes work under a layer of a special powder called flux, which allows the oxygen to be completely burned out, ensuring a perfect welded connection between the adjacent pipe segments. After an ultrasonic seam inspection, 24 meter lengths of double jointed pipe are fed to the main firing line. Here, over six welding stations, these double joints are welded to the main pipeline in a continuous procession. After the welding and inspection of the seam, a specially formulated polypropylene and epoxy coating is applied to the welded joint of the pipes to protect against corrosion the pipe and the welded seam has been tested to withstand an external pressure of over 400 atmospheres. This is significantly above the operational parameters of the future gas pipeline and the conditions of the deep water of the Black Sea. The pipeline system has been designed to operate for up to 50 years and meets the most stringent international design and operational parameters. Turkstream is the first pipeline that Pioneering Spirit will lay. The two lines will each have a throughput capacity of 15.75 billion cubic meters of gas per year. They will link Russia's largest gas fields with the Turkish gas transmission network to ensure reliable supplies of the blue fuel to Turkey, southern and southeastern Europe. The pipeline route will begin on the Russian shore near the city of Anapa and will reach the coast of Turkey about 100 kilometers from Istanbul near the village of Kiyakoy. Gas is scheduled to flow through the pipelines by the end of 2019, 